Here's the ClassCraft interface. Tap the three lines on the top left to access the different tools. You can click Classes, choose the class period, and then you can see the list of teams and individual students by sliding up with two fingers on the uh, face of the iPad. And then you can see your afternoon classes as well. So it's nice that it just kind of separates everything, alphabetizes it. And then you can interact with the players by clicking the plus sign to add XP points, which are experience points. And all of these are preset and customized by me. And then you can click on new preset at the bottom to go ahead and add uh, you know, different points for different behaviors that are positive. So things that you want to see students doing in class. Um, they could behave, be behavioral or academic in nature. Um, you can also click the little pencil in, in the top corner to add a custom value during class. You can also view the class by team. So you can assign points to an entire team at a time. Um, again, you can add XP, which are experience points. You could also add AP, which are action points. And uh, then there's HP, which is sort of the negative reinforcement side. So you can add custom values, again, and preset everything based on behaviors that you don't want to see in class. So, uh, for example, this could be missing assignments, it could be blurting out, or um, whatever is important to you. And you can just tap the X to get out of that and go back to the menu. Uh, one of the neat things is a game feed, and this is really what functions to motivate the students because they can see who's receiving XP and what sorts of behaviors they're receiving that for. So it just reinforces the climate of the classroom and um, your expectations for collaboration or on-task behavior. This is the random event generator. So every day class period starts with a drum roll and we choose a random event that will affect gameplay for the day. So here's an example, human shield. Uh, a random player takes all the damage for the class but gains 300 XP. So the peer pressure element for that player is kind of what keeps students not wanting HP um, because they do function as a team. The Wheel of Destiny is essentially just popsicle sticks. So you can choose random players and you just click find another to do that. Then there's this blue reset button that allows you to put all the players essentially back into um, the drawing so that you can use random calling. You can also choose random teams as well, which is helpful. And then there's also the Book of Laments, where students end up uh, if they are sort of in timeout from gameplay. Um, I try not to use the phrase that students have died. <laughs> so they get out of the Book of Laments based on the powers of other teammates who choose to save them or by performing a randomly generated consequence. And those are preset as well. So we're back to the main interface. For each player, they can uh, monitor their powers that they have, which are actions they can take in class. Everybody's got something different, so uh, they decide and strategize which powers to acquire and when they should use them. Every time a student uses powers, it eats up some of their AP.